Good morning. Today is Tuesday, July 11, 2023. So we are in the second day of this trading week. And this week is, is, uh, is a CBRI release, data going to release, uh, which is I believe it is tomorrow, Wednesday. So let's see how it, you know, how the market going to um, set up for tomorrow the data release but so far we see the first day of you know first training of this week is give us some sense that it reversed or is it, it bounced back you know from the friday uh sell-off right if you look at the Let's look at a 15 minute time frame to see we should see we see anything interesting in our prior action today. Oh, on the five minute time frame you can see that it is you see just the uh, show off in the PM session Friday. Uh, right here right this is uh a friday this is monday and you see it at soon at the quarterly on the south side of the river were taken then it's um stop about back and you remember our prediction is quite accurate it did take our the buy side of the taken then if we want we can engage into a long setup right here see that okay let's get some number right here real quick
So we see the first candle is uh, for one minute time frame is up candle. Um, but for five minutes we still is forming. So right here we see that it reach it making a new high and then it make a cup equal high and it will um I mean if we want to sort we can sort when it retest this one. Uh, we're not in not in a hurry right now. You know why? Because we look at the fifteen minute time frame. You see this range that it create on Thursday, right? And then Friday it is kind of um, it rate the buy seller quit right here and it start going down it going down it rate the sell seller query and then it start go back up so this we can reference on this range so we will not engage if it's still in this range so that's our analysis right there so it, it rate this bike style of query we may engage short or we rate this self style of query we may engage long but if we start with think this so we're not gonna do anything how to do that it rate or it go to the resistance level which is right here a bearish breaker right here somehow oh we hit the bracket breaker right here this level right here yeah this level then we can short them if we see that's the the market gonna reverse us to go down right yeah so it's tomorrow, it's uh, CBI day, CBRI day, the day they on release to see what is the inflation number. But you can see that it did take, for the one minute time frame, you see it did take the, did just take the, buy side liquidity say so rate buy side liquidity so let's see if you short you can short there but for five minutes time frame is what you see I mean for the five minute time frame right here we can see this is the London Q zone the high and the low of London Q zone so it did take the buy seller clear of London you can engage short right here if we believe that it gonna come down uh, if not we wanted to break this with a huge displacement in fabric up and then retest then we can go go along so we're still waiting 
and trading is pretty much a lot of the time is uh, waiting. Some call, some may even say that 99% of trading is, is the waiting game. Waiting for your set of patient payoff. That's the main mantra right there. Don't, 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 don't get hurry. Uh, the opportunity come to you. Don't chase it, don't force it. And that's the whole idea of our philosophy right there. It's a well-created mindset. Uh, we believe that opportunities is, is we are created. We create it in other way in other way that we are open to receive it. We don't be we don't have to be hurry. We don't have to chase it. We don't have to get it from someone else. Our journey is our own journey. We're different from other people. Uh, we don't. That's the reason why we, when we adapt this mindset, it will prevent us from over trading, from formal fear of missing out, because you know that you are um, create your own journey. You are create your own wealth. You create your own opportunity. Opportunity come to you. It's not a. Um, it not come from competitive mindset, which is mean that you know our rich or our wealth is is formed by taking the opportunity or wealth from other people. That's a competitive mindset, and that mindset is not in the natural law is not in the harmony with the, the law of nature the law of nature is expansion and anyone who want to receive just to get in alignment with the natural law and receive it right there a little bit of philosophy right there but um, we believe that mindset is everything. Mm, your mindset is everything, especially in the trading business, because you're not trading the markets. You trade what you are believe. You trade what you are. You trade what you you thinking. And if your thinking is not in line with the so-called markets or with the Law of nature, you you have a hard time. You get crushed. Well, something going on right there, huge displacement right there, so it, Yeah, we have a written short right here, buy sell liquidity taken, then you can get engaged in short Right, buy sell liquidity taken, you can get in short Let's try to find out what is significant at this location, at this level. What a time, the time is 940. Wow, that's a huge. Ooh. Man. That's a lot of sell up right there. What's the run of this? 
see that we are still in very situation you see that this is a huge order block and then after that you see it start moving away from that order block right there this is a bearish order block and it move away however it's not much you know um displacement and fair value gap but right here it retests this order block So we are in the first 15 minutes of the trading day today, Tuesday, July 11, 2023. And tomorrow will be see by date the data on the inflation of pre of the prior month i think the, the data will replace is on june the see by uh, the inflation data will be on june release tomorrow Yes, yesterday we didn't do any uh, review because yesterday we, um, uh, we have other things um, to do, we couldn't make it. We have some private business we take care of and uh, we couldn't make the video for yesterday. Uh, but yesterday the volume is um, it's about 62 million share for the safari uh, which is not bad um, which is you know not bad the average is about 78 million share So we can see a nice setup is forming right now. Alright, it's a bearish at 930. Wow, right here at 930. It's a bearish breaker right here. Fellow that retest so we can short right here if we want to. Let's say we want to short right here. Right, and we shall right here sell, right? We already set up our templates right there and we're gonna sell up here I say one sell when it reached us mm. yeah let's say the retest right here right 
Yeah, one seven. We sell right here. It's it's one dollar move, and our let's do right here. Right, our right here. Yeah, so we're gonna put what forty four cent. Yeah, so about twenty cent, actually seventeen cent. Yeah, we do seventeen cent, and we get one dollar. But can we get one dollar? Yeah, we can. I think it can move out here because the new week opening gap. So you can. If you look at the five minute time, time frame, you see the fair weather up. New week opening up right there. So it's a good setup for you to go there. Right? You see that? So it can be one dollar move for you right there. What is this? Our thirty nine sixty two forty four. 40, 44 Yeah, I see the setup right here Fabric up retest Wow, exactly Yeah, that's the uh, time of entry right here 9.50 One way of attention to 9.50 You can see how The algo running Yeah you see This is This is the level bearish breaker right there. Fair up. Huge fair up bearish breaker. What is lit level? When we look at the five minute time frame, we can see we can see this a uh, bearish breaker, right? Follow it up, retest it, bearish breaker. So we're very conservative. We have to put our order right here and follow it up right there. Let's see. So what's the the, the close of this one? 440, 23. Yeah, exactly 403. Cool. 
remember we only trade on Thursday, so this is just um, practice for it. Let's see, you want to take this trade. Maybe go up into here. You can do this auto block. So you may retest it all the block. Right. Or you just retest this bearish breaker. What time? Here. It's over here. And it's still go there. That's our anticipation, that's our analogy. So, but remember, always remember that the day before a high impact new release is very, very tricky to, to trade. So you, we are in about 25 minutes. We are in the 25 minutes. First 25 minutes of the trading day. Wow, you see that? It took the buy side look really and then it maybe start going down. 54, 55. Or oh, maybe this a bear trap. You trap you. You short, 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 right? Short, short, short. But if we want to go long, then we have to make sure that it's break through this bullish, bullish breaker, right? It break above this level gap and then retest it and go. So I, I, I think we're still in a bearish situation right here or bearish uh, sentiment or bias right here with the separate really nice you see the bearish breaker huge displacement very gap and retest so if we, we go down and we believe it going down to the new week opening gap right there if we want to but we not allow us to take a trade on Tuesday um, because um, our rule that uh, we only take one trade a week and it will be on uh, Thursday or Friday. Um, because we believe that by Wednesday we should know the high of the week or lower the week. And when we know that the market show it hands then um, it's easy for to to get engaged it's easy easier to um, identify what is the next draw on locally on the other words who, who, what move we gonna make you know what the next move we gonna make then we just follow that and normally that move is very clean very clean move. It's not toppy. It's not consolidation. So it's very clean move. And our job is just take advantage of that clean move. Once a week, that should be good enough. One dollar move. That's what we aim for, and we strive for that. So just be patient. Patient pays off. Patient pays off. That's our mentor right there. I mean, back in the day, right? If we are a niche bear and we may change this and put a very tight stop lot. See if we take out a stop lot right there.
let's take a look at the QQQ versus um, versus Swari. So we can see what's the smart money devaluation taking place. Mm -hmm. There are no diversion right now. They are in sync. You see, they are in sync, not diversion. You know, make a high high, make a high high, and then go down. So basically, it take the taking the buy side liquidity, right? When it take buy side liquidity, then we can engage short right there. But you see, if we're willing to take out the low of the London, let's see. Wow. Come on, up here. We don't want to engage right now. We just, um, we should, um, try to, forward testing. I mean, I can say it's forward testing right now. We're not take live trade. But it can be a good setup, right? It's, it's the 10. 10 in the morning right there and it's fall into this wow let's see if we take this tray we put the stop lot on the rare right check this tray we move here stop lot right there wow 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 Let's say 40, 40, 40, and then 40, 40. Oh. Oh. What is this? 39. Yeah, really one dollar move. I'll take it right here. So whoever short all of it will be forced to stop out right there. As soon as it falls all of that and it hit this resistance, it come down right away. Very interesting right there. All right, we pretty much finished the first 30 minutes. 32 minutes exactly uh, of this trading day today, Tuesday. And we can see the market move good. I mean, the first, if you catch this move, I mean, it's a really good clean move. And we saw the setup right here. Let's see how it's play out. Right, a bearish breaker and huge display demand plus value gap and retest them. Right, you see, it did retest them. It retest them at 9.55, at 10, it came out. Wow, so we, it will engage right here. Wow, look at that. Put our, um, put our, I think it's 40. Yeah, I'll enter with 40. What is close this one? Open. Close. 38. Yeah. Our entry will be 38 around here. 38 right there. Man, beautiful tree right there. But the reason why we restrain ourselves because, because we follow our rule. Rule is rule. Choice follow the rule we set out. So our entry is going to be 40, 38. Let's see, it's going to reach one dollar move, which is 39, 38, 
also, I feel like the market move very slow right now. Oh, do you feel the same or? I feel like it moves slow or maybe because I maybe because I wanted to be move faster. I have switched my. Um, I feel it's moves slow because that's a set expects and it's just uh, my expectation and then I compare that so let's first be careful with our bias confirmation or our feeling right there so I remember one guy say that we don't trade the market we trade who we are and what defy who we are our thought our emotion defies and we have to learn to manage our emotion, emotion, our expectation. Wow, so this is just a order block, bearish order block for us, for the smart money to put in match with the selling order. So let's see. Oh, actually, it hit our target beautifully. It will take the trade. Take our target. Sixty one. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, if we read here, it will read our target, our earphone right here, all we need is just oh uh, if we enter there oh uh, if we enter forty forty yeah or thirty eight Hmm. 
but for the final time frame, we still we haven't checked out the low from the London you know, section and high blow right here. So we anticipate that if we check out this this low one way or another, if we want to reverse we'll go back up then that is one way you have to to go through Just makes sense if, if not gonna take that so shallow worry. And you see the same balance rate, marriage breaker, displacement, and a fair value up. Hmm, very interesting, huh? Hmm. For some reason, I feel, I feel like it moves so slow. Maybe I feel sleepy, I guess. But there's some strat right here. Um, I just 
talk to myself. I forgot to turn on the microphone. So basically, I say that um, today it maybe follow uh, the pattern from yesterday. It may reverse, but yesterday, oh, it not. It's not coming down because you tweak this is auto block, right? And then it's displacement. But we don't see any pair of up right here. Then it retests this auto block. So let's see. Yeah, that, that can be set up for right here. Or a block. However, there's no really um really what really displacement value. Like but you used to have a reason to set up set a bearish right here. It's a bearish breaker and it retests them. Fairly up. Mm, yeah, a little bit fairly up right here. But not much so, but it's huge displacement. Oh, look at that. Man, equal low. Look at that. That's a signal for you to go along right there. Oh. Or to go short if they make it cool low up here. So what's the law of this? Forty six. What a law of this? Yeah, they are forty six equal over right there. So a signal for you to go along with well, the time frame. Yeah, it's around there. 10, 14, 10, 15. Wow, you see, that's how the algo run. When it created a low, before that is an auto block and it's retest with the low. Wow, fair enough. Retest. Uh, auto block, where well, we don't see the fair up in here. But we see the fair up right here. So we can engage. On a block, fill it up right here. It glow. Well, I would love it to come down here again around this area and we can go along. Okay, if we set our target for this short setup and a new week opening up. It did not reach it, so a little bit careful right there. We have to make sure our target reach otherwise it come back to our face. It will, we will experience a little bit of comfort if we go back to our entry. And we feel like we should have checked the profits and got, get our trade. So that's tricky part right there. Not only we have to work on the entry, the stop out, but also the target. And on top of that, the timing, time of interest. We know that based on the DR model, that by 10.30 we will know which one is the low today and which one will be at the high of the day uh, but yesterday I believe it break that through uh, it not really breaking you know but it's just violate the second rule of the DR basically stating that if you see a five minute candle close below 
the idr which is imply dr and the dr then you have a good chance a good probability that it gonna be continue to go down however yesterday it did not happen it did have the one candle close below and then it reversed back I mean right here this is from Monday which is yesterday you see that's the DR low and one candle family candle below us but it starts to go back up at 12 10 go back up so oh and also it take out uh, the high day so it violate okay Finally, that's true. Well, we have 10 more minutes, then we will finish the first hour of Tuesday trading day. Pretty much is still in the range right now. Right. <laughs> hmm. Let's look at the smart money divergence between the QQQ. Yeah, we don't see any but diversion right now. Oh, that's a huge move up right here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven minutes up close. Yeah, we still trick this uh, at our our very speaker. Right. Yeah, a breaker right here. Very breaker, similar like um, so called resistant level or so called supply and demand. So it's in this case, it should be a supply, which is sell. Which is for sure. See how it's play out at this level. If we believe that it's gonna go long, then I wanted to break through with you know the big display on the and then retest and then go. We can engage. But it have not take out the sell salary from London. Huge yawns, then I can't relax and to go long. I mean, here's what I mean on a five minute time frame. This our London high and low. It did rate the buy side of liquidity, which is the high of London. Then we can engage short, and we believe that we anticipate gonna take out this. Low, which is a self seller query, but it did not do that at the moment. Maybe go up here and show again. 
or it can be we can interpret it this as a bullish signal because it make a high a low I want this chain this to be not not today, but I wanted to change to good and to cancel. Well, five more minutes, we finish our first trading hour for today.
Okay. Um, basically, this is the setup that we we just um, give it a new name, auto block, and equal retest. And our target gonna be open at nine thirty. Let's see how it's come out, how it's play out. But also to remember that we kind of are not in a sh strong condition to go along when we don't see it's take out the low of the London section. That's our logic right there. But just remember this is a bearish baker. And it's retest there. Let's see if if we go down, it's gonna break this one. It it, it could go either way. But I more likely to the possibility that it's gonna come down. It need to take out the low of London. That's my observation or my th you know thesis right there. Anyway, um, bye for now. Talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye.